Hi, I'm Rappler Entertainment Editor Marguerite De Leon. And I'm Isa Abad, Lifestyle and Entertainment Reporter. And welcome to the latest episode of Stand By Me, Rappler's talk show on all things fandom. And today, we have special guests, um, Chelsea Gieb and Lele Suizo from Swifties Philippines. Hello. 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 Thank you. Thank Hello. you so much for being here. Sige, so um, let's get right into it. Um, <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Nego lang. Um, so, sige, let's set the tone muna. So, in 2022, Taylor Swift was the most streamed artist in the Philippines. Mm-hmm. Tapos, siya din yung first artist in Philippine history to simultaneously occupy every spot in the top 13 of Billboard Philippines' top songs chart. Mm-hmm. Coincidentally, 13, which yeah. is her favorite yeah. number, right? Yeah. Diba, alam ko yun. <laughs> <laughs> so, First off, why? What is the, her appeal? Like, why is she such a popular musician here in the Philippines? Uh, I think because there is a specific Taylor Swift song for every situation in our lives. That's why, kumbaga, kahit hindi talaga totally Taylor Swift fan yung tao, meron kasing specific song na makaka-relate siya. So, every situation, every emotion na pinagdadaanan ng tao, there is a go-to Taylor Swift song. That's why it's not really uh, not surprising na nagtotop siya on every charge. Hindi lang dito sa Philippines, but worldwide. Yeah, I believe the same thing as well. And everyone here in the Philippines, kahit hindi admittedly open na safety sila, everyone is a safety na si Kelly. <laughs> Ganun yung feeling ko kasi um, part na din si Taylor Swift ng life ng, since tagal niya na sa industry. Eh. Yeah, that's so, true. Uh-oh. And you hear it yung mga songs niya in the radio every mm-hmm. time. So parang kahit hindi ka Swifty talaga, you know who is Taylor Swift. And mm-hmm. nakaka-curious naman talaga what is the songs na ano, nare-release niya always. So yun, I think part na rin ng pop culture that people would listen to the new album or the new songs that nare-release ni Taylor. Mm, gets. Like, ako, I'm not particularly like, I don't know all of her yeah. albums, but mm-hmm. I do like some of her songs. Mm-hmm. And I think that applies nga to a lot of people. Exactly. Like, mm-hmm. talaga nung high school, gusto ko matutong mag because of the, like, you tear drops on my guitar. Like, yeah. feel the feel ko siya. So, oh, both of you are admittedly lo- like fans of Taylor. Yes. Tapos, I'm just curious na, did you guys meet each other through the Swift, uh, Swifties Philippines? And how was the group formed? And what was its goal? Mm, actually, me and Lele are friends na, online friends lang kami. Yes. Mm-hmm. We only meet during the pandemic. pandemic. Oh. Tapos nag-start lang din kami na parehas kami nagko-collect ng Taylor Swift albums, oh. gano'n. And then, uh, one Christmas, I think that was 2020, 2020. Uh, parang separate kami, nag-giveaway kami through Twitter and Facebook. Mm. And then parang naging close kami from that. Tapos sabi namin, uy, next year gawin natin to together na tayo oh. para mas marami Madang. tayong mapamigay, mas masaya siya, gano'n. Tapos parang that was the start nung tinatawag namin Swift Mass. Parang, oh, yes, oh, every cute. year, ginagawa namin siya parang Taylor Swift Christmas. Oh. And, uh, tapos, uh, yun nga, 2020, separate pa kami. Tapos 2021, uh, may na-meet din kami other friends pa na they are willingly, will, uh, willing na mag-give away din, magpa-contest. Maybe, yeah. Tapos nagkaroon kami ng online event since pandemic pa siya. Mm-mm. Online event muna. Tapos it was me and may other, I think three other friends or four. Tapos, nagkaroon lang kami ng online program. Tapos, may mga online yeah. attendees din. May contest like song cover contest, costume contest. <laughs> Ganun yeah. siya. Then, nag-giveaway lang kami. Tapos, parang the following year, sabi namin, um, nung medyo nag-lift yung lockdown, yeah. yung, yung restriction, sabi namin, parang what if, ano, possible kaya na magkaroon din tayo ng physical gathering naman mm-hmm. kahit once. Tapos, that was the start na nagkaroon kami ng parang motivation na gusto namin magkaroon yeah. ng physical, physical gathering. Event. Tapos awesome. doon, um, nakakatawa lang kasi we formed it, ano lang, chika-chika lang kami via yeah. yeah. messenger. Uh-oh. And then sabi ko, ano, jokingly, mawa tayo, rent natin mawa. And then sabi, ang taas ng pangarap natin. Uh-oh. Kasi like, uh, mawa agad, wala naman kami name. As in, uh, we're just two, uh, individual kami. kami. So, but, Luckily, um, magtatsaga talaga kami mag-reach out to any establishment, mga malls, ganyan. And para then, they can, they can provide by that time na parang, mm-hmm. ay, girl, mahirap pala kasi mm-hmm. we have to provide this. 
So, medyo ano na kami doon. Ay, ano muna tayo? Baka, Back ano out muna, i And then, that, that, that was the time that Moa reached out to Chelsea mm-hmm. para mag ano, hi, maybe um, you are interested to do a parang sa event. Are you still looking for a So, venue? sila yung nag-reach yeah. out oh, sa inyo? Oh, yeah. Ako talaga, no, nag-walk through talaga ako sa admin offices ng malls. Nag-walk right. ako ng proposals. Ang galing. Okay. Tapos kaso ang sabi parang they can only give us the place but we should provide the other stuff like sounds and mm. etc. Screen. Pero considering nga po na we don't really have a specific fund, fund. for yeah. this, mm-hmm. mahirap siya. Tapos parang nagpa-survey lang din ako online nun. Parang para magkaroon kami ng numerical basis yeah. na okay. in demand siya. Kailangan gawin natin yeah. siya. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who are Tapos, willing to go? I think nakita siya ng isa sa mga marketing officer ng Mall of Asia mo. Uh, sa Mall of Asia. Tapos, uh, from that, uh, may message na ako na parang, gusto niyo pa bang mag-host? Naglahan na pa ba kayo ng venue? And sobrang perfect ng timing kasi that was around the release of Midnight. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So uh, instead of just having a normal gathering, we decided na gawin siya album release for Midnight's, and we called it Midnight's Mayhem yep. in Mall of Asia. Yeah. Ang Our very first fan event. gathering event. And then that's the time na then that we decided, me and Chelsea, sabi ko, Chelsea, you know what? This will continue. Because so it, it will not like be the first event. time mm-hmm. that we will be having an event, yeah. and I'm mm-hmm. looking into it na parang successful yung magiging mangyayari sa mga physical event na men so sabi why not we na, uh, we form a official page na mga fandom yeah. mm-hmm. and then we think ano bang magandang page na pangalan that we have to carry na oh alam mo personally Philippines yan mm-hmm. and then for Taylor Swift talaga yan na recognizable so we have decided the Swift is Philippines mm-hmm. page and by that time then luckily UMG the Universal Music. Group, yeah, mm-hmm. UMusic, um, PH, UMusic, mm-hmm. reach us reach. to us through our friend Kirk, who is actually the head, naman for Katy Perry, I think. Mm. Tapos parang inintroduce niya kami there. Kasi actually before we have an existing, parang mad mother, uh, fandom fan base group, yep. which is Taylor Swift Philippines. Mm. So I think I tried to reach out to them, na parang uh, pwede ba natin siyang buhayin? But I think medyo Adu- due to adulting na din siguro, yeah. na fans yes, din yes. yung priorities ng mga existing admins nun. And then, we just decided na since medyo lilo sila, maybe we can take over take for the meantime. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So, what does it mean to be partnered with UMG? Like, um, are, are there any particular benefits or mm. ano? Uh, sometimes, like, for example, they also had their official album listening party mm-hmm. in yeah. Podium. Uh, we were invited there. Tapos yeah. they they are uh, they informed us ahead of time. And minsan parang tinatap nila kami na we are planning something like this. Yeah. We need your insights. We're mm-hmm. part na. of those um, mm-hmm. planning. Na, hey, we need to promote it to our safety's friends as yeah. well. Yeah. So yun we so, are partnered with them. Oh, so if halimbawa tinatanong kayo na UMG for your insights, they raised you ba siya sa like members of the fan base or kaya lang admins yung nagde discuss about it. Uh, mostly admins kasi mm-hmm. ano, we should keep it confidential for the people yeah. since hindi pa siya out public. in public. Ganun. Okay, sige. So let's get naman into the Eras Festival mm-hmm. na. So uh, the first one was when uli? Uh, first event po na. Uh, the first, because uh, there were several, ano diba? There were several events. Uh, uh, for Manila, we had it March 31. Okay. Yeah. And then Cebu, April 22. And then for Davao, they will do it May 5 po pala. Okay, yes. so coming up pa. Yes. yes. So, um, how did the plans for that particular uh, event or a series of events come about? Uh, kasi po, uh, bale, yun nga po, din nag-start po kami for Midnight's Mayhem. And then afterwards, may ibang malls na rin po na nag-invite sa amin mm-hmm. to host after seeing na successful yung mm-hmm. first yeah, one namin. Movie. Tapos, uh, by the way, we, we had our first physical Swift Mass 2022 mm-hmm. during, uh, I think, on SM North po. Mm-hmm. Nagkaroon na kami ng physical place. Yeah. Parang uh-huh. Swifties Christmas party na siya, ganun. Uh-huh. Tapos po, after nun, parang ang pinaka nag-initiate po talaga na magkaroon ng simultaneous uh, event nationwide is si admin po ng Taylor Swift Cebu. Mm-hmm. Kasi parang nakikita niya na dumadalas na, parang nag- nagbo-boom na na parang every now and then merong nagpapa-event ng 
for Swifties, for Taylor Swift. Kasi nga, bigla talaga siyang nag-boom after the success. Yeah. Tapos, uh, ayun po, parang sabi, namin, sabi niya, what if mag-ano tayo, festival-like, summer festival, ganyan. Then, nung in-announce ni Taylor yung Eras, yung Eras, Eras Tour, tour doon kami nagparang nag-ano na, what if we did this Eras Festival para marinig and para makita talaga ng, mm-hmm. ng hindi lang sa Pilipinas, ng buong mundo na Philippines yeah. is a swifty country. Yeah. Yes, and ito yung demand for it. And ito, ganito karaming tao yung willing pumunta, willing mag-participate, kahit na wala pa yung actual Taylor Swift right. dito. Yeah. Ayun siya. Tapos, ayun, uh, si... Clarky from Taylor Swift Cebu. Tinry niya kami i ano, i combine lahat ng mga nag-organize from Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao. Pero of course, due to limit din ng sa time, sa fundings ganun, medyo struggle din siya. So we decided na i-limit natin siya muna for Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao just para lang magkaroon ng representative for yep. each uh, ano, isla ganun. Mm-hmm. Ayun po, tapos luckily uh, the perfect opportunity came after Ayala Malls Manila Bay tapped us and then actually before that si Cebu po nag-host na sila sa Ayala Central Block Cebu. Mm-hmm. So parang sabi nila, parang ah, okay, we can do it under Ayala then maybe we can align our goal with them and they can support us. Ganun po siya. Yeah, I think I remember it going viral sa Twitter na parang ang dami nagsasabi na dapat ma- makarating to kay Taylor. Yes. Kasi, diba, parang at that time, nakita ko siya, lahat nagsasing along sa songs. Tapos, mm-hmm. diba, parang naisipin mo, ando ba yung artist kung hindi ka, yes. kung hindi ka aware mm-hmm. sa kung ano nangyayari. So, you mentioned that it was like the Cebu chapter who started it. Um, how was it like talking to like Swifties all over the Philippines? Actually, okay naman siya. Well, yung access ngayon for communication is not it's, as difficult mm-hmm. as before. So, yeah. online lahat. We plan online. Yung documentations, lahat online. And even yung mga props namin, minsan, since... Yeah. Sinapadala. Oh, oh, yes. oh, 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 yes. Manila. Yung ibang oh, nagamit namin, ipapas it, on to yes. Cebu. Yes. 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 And then Cebu, after they use it, they will then pass it on, on to Davao. Davao. Yes. Same pa yung program niya for like all... Um, medyo same yung parang pinakagusto namin mangyari. Yeah. Pero it's... Uh, it still, uh, nagda-depends pa rin siya dun sa pinaka-gustong flavor ng no, tao no, no, no. involved doon. Tsaka, syempre, yung availability ng tao. Mm-hmm. Example, for for here sa Manila, kilalang kilala na halo. Sobrang viral sa TikTok. Mm-hmm. Si Taylor Sheesh. Mm-hmm. Si Macron na lang aming pinakamagandang drag queen <laughs> <laughs> na nag-impersonate talaga kay Taylor. Yeah. Syempre, for Cebu, they, hindi nila malipad yeah. si Mac. So, they have other drag queens there. Ganon siya. Ang galing. Wala. Uh, one of the reasons why we did this show, yung Stand By mm. Me, is na-amaze talaga kami na fans. The power of fans. Oh, the power mm. of fans. Like, the, the fact that they can do so many concrete things on their yeah. own without any budget, yeah. without any yes. experience. Uh-huh. Alam mo yun? Wala lang. So, wala. Nakakatawa lang. Ang yun. funny nga din, kasi pinagkukwentahan namin minsan ni Chelsea, nakakatawa kasi, example, si Chelsea, HR talaga yung work niya. Um, And I am in IT sorry. field. But, In reality, kapag on the back end ng nag-work, si Chelsea, sa TechBook siya, TechBoot. Mm, Tapos ako, nag-handle ng mga <laughs> ano, tao na volunteers, <laughs> ganyan. Oh, I'm the one Sobrang so, thankful kami doon teaching. sa mga tao. Yes. Una, sa mga tao willing mag-provide uh, ng physical manpower nila. Yes. Kasi wala po talaga kami pambayad. Eh, Lahat oh, po ng yeah, yeah. effort na gagawin nila yung paggising sa umaga, pagdayo, pagod, whole day, controlling yeah. crowds. Mm-hmm. Lahat po yun, wala po. Ni patubig nga po, minsan wala talaga. Wala, 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 wala po talaga. So, sobrang thankful po kami na may mga ganong fans. Siyempre, out of love lang din. Gusto talaga nila. Sabi nga namin, oh, mas masaya maging audience kasi manunood. Para lang. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Punta ka lang, tapos pa-participate ka. Pero sila, yung mga volunteers namin, sobrang willing nila na kahit pagod sila. Pag na-imagine ko in the future, kung lilipad ka ng job, like, pwede mong ilagay sa CV. Actually, <laughs> actually, actually yes. 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 job experience. Yes, eh. actually. Uh-huh. Maganda siyang profile. Like, for example, yung host namin, si Clyde, um, from UST kasi siya student. And before, yung first midnight na him namin, kausap ko siya, you know, Clyde, you can put it in your CV in the future mm-hmm. na nag-hosting ka talaga sa ano. Sa so, I think communication event. din course yeah. niya. Oh, perfect. Parang, yeah. Tsaka yeah. yeah. minsan nga, mas paayos pa yung ino-organize ng fans. 
<laughs> Kasi Oops. pag fans know what they want, yes. diba? So, yeah, exactly. Tsaka parang yung the best, gusto yes. natin ibigay. Mm-hmm. Oh. Right. Actually, yun nga, sabi naman ni Lele, actually, pwede naman tayo magtipid. Eh. Pwede naman hindi sumasakit mm-hmm. yung ulo natin sa budgeting kung saan kukuha ng budget. Pero <laughs> parehas kasi kami na, hindi gusto hindi natin no. may ganito. Ang tasong standard oh, na, na, na kayo eh. Oh. Nag-effort na tayo eh. Go big or go home. Ito nga pong Eras Festival in Manila, parang lo- level up siya nung yeah, lahat ng na-host namin. Kasi before, parang, Ah, okay, normal na po program tayo, lalaro tayo, then jamming, and then same kahit nung Christmas party, ah, okay, may mas maraming prizes kasi nga Pasko, tapos jamming ulit. Pero for this one, yung Ears Festival, talagang we want to make it as festive as possible. Mm-hmm. Yeah. As in as festive, na parang may boots, may activities kahit na hindi pa nagsastart yung program. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tapos yung mga boots din na ganun, parang iniisip namin, sana kaya natin siya gawing free kasi para mas open to all, yes, ganyan. Yes. So, yung mga ganong fundings, minsan po, from our own. No. Then, meron din mga Swifties na, um, ano sila, galante naman sila. Mm-hmm. Mga friends din namin na pagka tinatap namin na, uy, baka gusto mo na mag-pinch-pinch ganyan. Mga mga ikawin sila, mga mga ikawin sila. Yeah. So, ayun, sobrang mabait din. Yun nga, parang everyone, out of love lang talaga siya. Yeah, and fashion talaga siya mm-hmm. oh. for us. Sige, so f- moving on from the Eras Festival, yeah. we're gonna have to ask a few questions about parang, your fandom yeah, about yeah. Taylor Swift. So, yung hot topic ngayon mm. is, unfortunately, the fact na, na she broke up with Joe Alwyn. They yeah. were uh, together for... Allegedly. Uh, <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. 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 Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay, kung ganun, sige, fine. So, um, how do you feel as Swifties about this turn of events? Ako... When I woke up kasi pagising ko yun agad yun ah, na bunga sa JC oh, talaga le. Okay. Allegedly alleged. Pero kasi on my mind, I turned off talaga ako away from social media kasi sabi ko hindi ko siya role as someone na a fan to really dwell into someone's personal, personal life. life. Okay. Yeah. So whatever is in the news, it's right there. Pero I won't add up into it na i-share or mm-hmm. i comment ng anything because um for me kasi Taylor Swift is a song is an album she interprets her emotions into a song so whatever is ano kung anong nasa news until she confirms talaga that's the so only time uh, uh, only so time you actually mm-hmm. never confirms verbal. so i'm not oh, yeah okay. she never yeah does. personally i'm not Uh, minding, hands up uh, yeah. talaga ako sa okay. mga galong. Okay. No una din, ako naman nun, parang night shift ako, tapos straight from the ship nakita ko siya, wala na, hindi na ako nakatulog. <laughs> <laughs> tapos, ako nakatulog talaga. Pero nung una, parang syempre, yung emotion ang taas. Uh, sure. So parang, hala, nalulungkot ako ganyan, nala totoo ba, parang in denial stage ganyan. Tapos, parang after a while, na-realize ko na, uh, sabi nga ni Taylor, yung mga lumalabas sa news, syempre, sobrang big star niya. Yeah. Parang, Meron nga before na mga chika na buntis siya, diba? chika na pinag Oh, kaya talaga in denial talaga. Pero in the end of the day, what matters is kung saan siya masaya. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Sige. So we're actually down to our last three yeah. questions. And I think this next question will probably be like the most, I don't know, maybe controversial. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. So there have been instances oh, uh, when Swifties have uh, uh, unfortunately verbally attacked yung mga exes ni Taylor. So yeah. notably si John Mayer and si Jake Gyllenhaal. Because the breakups were very messy, I think, on both ends. So both of these guys have expressed like discomfort and maybe even distress yeah. about this fan behavior. So how do you both feel about parang, this entire situation? Um, for me, I have read kasi mga Twitter posts na mga ganon. Also, one time nga na-read ko yung may nag-message nga kay John Mayer na I hope you die. Yeah, Ayun. yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. medyo extreme na... Mm-hmm. Someone's wishing for something else sa isang tao, di ba? But I'm not into really kung ano yung feelings and emotions nila and how they will release it. Kasi um, all feelings are valid for me. Na if yun yung nararamdaman ng fans and how they will release it, I don't have a control over it. Pero, of course, it's a different one if one will resort to violence for that matter. So, ayun lang. Um, as a fan, of course, I'm not participating sa mga ganun na into attacking someone. And, ayun, I don't think naman na very extreme din na ma- mas marami yung mas galit 
than those who actually really just enjoy them, understands the... Right. Mm. Yeah. So, meron nang talagang mga extremes. Pag lumal- pag dahil maingay sila, yeah, siya pa yun yung nagbabiral. They were the one. Um, mm-hmm. gets. How about Sorry, you, Yun din po. Uh, yun nga, everyone's feelings is valid naman. So, it depends on how they uh, cope up with the situation. Although, syempre, discourage natin yung violence within the fandom. Pero, yung mga ganun, minsan naisip ko kasi part din siya dahil personality kasi sila. No. Kaya parang for those other exes compared to other people na naging ex ng someone else, ng ibang celebrity. Kaya din sobrang iba yung ingay okay. kasi pareho silang public, public figure. Right. Yeah. So medyo may ano din yun, factor din siya. Pero again, uh, hindi na din siya tinotolerate na ganun yung pagkahandle na magsasort to violence or some kind of um, thing. Actually, si Taylor din nagsasabi pag ganyan. Mm-hmm. Parang, Ah, uh, hindi niya verbally straightforward sinasabi, pero parang nagpa may medrong ganung essence na parang sinasabi niya na ah, okay ako, guys. Mm-mm. Kalma na tayo. Parang ganun yung thought na ganun. Mm-hmm. Hindi ko lang may exact. Uh-huh. Pero walang verbatim na lang. Pero ganun yung feels na na assure niya. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes, may, okay. yes, ganun ganun. So, ayun, from mounting events like these fan wars, what's the most important thing that you learned as someone that's a part of a huge fan? Ang funny kasi, um, we were also attacked nung first Midnight Mayhem na sinasabi, don't, ano, don't go sa event kasi oh. mga adult stands yan. Meron kami ng gano'n. Adult stands? Yeah, no, 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 no nothing. Sa kahit ano art. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no, no offense to no offense to those to Adele, fan Adele. na talaga ni Adele. Oh, pero, Adele. pero what happened? Masabi, sinisiraan si Taylor Swift. They were trying to oh, sabotage yeah. Taylor Swift's uh, album Midnight Release kasi yung stream daw, bababa. Baba, baba. Kasi nasa in nasa one in, place daw kasi kami. Kasi sa yeah, sabay din yung gel. Yeah, sabay daw na. Yes, and then na kumbaga instead daw na individually nagii-stream through phones or laptop or other uh-huh. devices. Yeah. Sa isang place yeah. daw kami. So uh-huh. kung meron daw kaming attendees like 3,000 people, sayang daw 3,000 uh-huh. things na daw yeah. ata yun. Uh-huh. Parang ganoon yung uh-huh. thought. Tapos parang that time meron lang mga clash within fan base. So parang ina-accuse nila kami na we are, we are from other fandoms trying right. to organize something to sabotage. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. that's the extreme part na na-experience namin uh-huh. yung fan wars talaga. Mm-hmm. Like how come no, I realize that yeah, ano, Adele and Taylor Adele, are friends? Yeah, so, yeah I mean, yeah, you know. without, and I listen to Adele and Taylor at the same Why time. Why would you yeah. mount such a huge event? Yeah. Para lang, exactly. Dahil sa hater ka. And then, oh. effort uh-huh. namin. Exactly. No? Effort ka naman. Own money, time. And then, Wala kami tulog. I, <laughs> and, and what's funny with that is, we're working on it for like, no time. a lot of time. Two weeks, three weeks, something. Sobrang and po pagod mm. lahat kami. And then we're looking forward kasi first event namin, we are mm. excited. And so pag drop na pag drop namin, oh, bombarded oh, kami oh. with those um, fake news. Fake news. over siya talaga. Parang sa, oh no, oh no, how do we no, una, control? Noong una, affected kami. Yeah, Tapos hanggang yeah. sabi natin, kaya mo na sila, di kung pumunta sila, pumunta sila, kung hindi, hindi. Yeah. <laughs> and we're very, very lucky then to have those Swifties community that knows me and Chelsea uh, mm-hmm. personally yeah, and they will defend gosh. for us like no they've been doing swift mass since 2020 mm-hmm. na virtual mm-hmm. na legit yung mga ganun mm-hmm. so, so somehow parang fortunate pa kami we are so they got your back yeah yeah, yeah they they're got, depending us kasi kami quiet lang kami quiet that lang time kami. Kasi like kami, we don't know how to mm-hmm. defend na yeah tapos sila yung nagbo voice out for us yeah, yeah. That's, that's, Okay. And so, yun extreme fun war na talaga mm-hmm. for us na experience namin. Okay. But overall, People stop fighting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, overall, the lessons. Siguro. And I remember nga one Twitter account, si Jacob, sabi niya, um, why can't we just um, celebrate and enjoy listening mm. to music? Bakit lagi, number but yeah, and then mm. bakit lagi kayong concern sa counts of, mm. of, the streams, streams yeah. rather than enjoying the music. Yes. Parang, yes. we gather to celebrate yung release eh. Mm-hmm. Parang ganon. Pero kayo, mas concerned kayo sa income, sa streams ng album. Right, yeah. yeah. And really guess what? Regard, regardless of that listening event. party, number one, no, worldwide, yeah. Philippines, nationwide, <laughs> okay. breaking all the possible records. And also, we make sure na, oh, lahat kayong gagather dyan, ha? mag-stream kayo isa-isa, ganon. Mm-hmm. So, sabay-sabay tayo. So, that's, how? Ganun. Tapos overall, yun nga, uh, yung lesson, it's not 
just yung mga natutunan lang namin kung paano mag-organize. Mm-hmm. Kasi yun din eh, uh, parang skill-wise, yun yung mga natutunan. Pero per- personally, yun siya na meron kang ganitong friendship yeah. within the fan base. And yung love talaga for Taylor na sinishare niyo with each other can uh, parang upgrade to somewhere else pa, can form into different kind of friendship, different different kind of bond. Yeah. Mm, ayun. So yeah, obviously, running a fan base is not just like sunshine and all. Fun. Yes. Of course. Um, unfortunately, we're down to the last yeah. question. <laughs> so ayod, given all the like hardships na nangyari na lang with your fan base, or is there anything that your group, the Swifties Philippines, planning for the future? Kano ka near future? <laughs> After for yeah. and for the near, for the near future. future. It will air Thursday. Thursday. Pwede na ba? Pwede na ba? <laughs> Kino ba? Concert yeah. oh na oh oh <laughs> after, after the success of the Eras, Eras Festival, Festival in Manila, a lot of fans are asking for part two. Part two. Oh, yes. oh awesome. Na, parang, uh, parang sa, medyo south daw kasi yung Pasay, Paranaque oh, area. Right. So Pero, sabi niya, me- medyo yes, north, north naman, naman daw. Mm. Eh. Sabi nga nila, ang QC daw, di ba? Pinakamataas. Ah, okay. Yeah. Dreams Ay, din. Oh. Oh, you see it now? Yes. Oh, it, talagang tumatop siya among other cities in the world. Right. So, we'll do it. Okay. So, uh-huh. In a yeah. location in Quezon City, we'll drop the, uh, we'll drop the announcement on May, May 1. one. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is coming Monday, right? Yes. Ooh, Ipa-plan siya lang namin yung mga details and posters, <laughs> etc. Pero, oh magkakaroon ng parang The Eras Festival in Manila Part 2. Two. Oh, yeah. ba- so, <laughs> yeah. so yung uh, mga pinadala po namin ng Cebu na babiyahe ng Davo, Davo. after Babalik po niya ng Davo, mabalik na. po siya sa <laughs> Ang galing. Yes, so ayun, uh, for now, for near future, yun po muna, the, okay. the part two for the year. So kumbaga, kung loud yung last time, kung bongga siya last time, mas bongga dapat ngayon, mas, mas maingay tayo dapat ngayon. So, um, they, uh, medyo they know how what to expect na based mm-hmm. from the previous one, mm-hmm. pero... Uh, we are we are sure na parang mas bongga to, yeah. mas pinagandaan namin, mas may time na kami. <laughs> mas may time kami. Kasi parang nakita na namin yung ano niya, structure. So uh-huh. mas pinaganda, ganun, and mas mag-enjoy yung mga uh-huh. post-50s. Tapos so, lalabas pa yung in- episode na to. Tapos oh. pwede oh, wow. <laughs> promote. <laughs> ah, nag-promote. Tapos, <laughs> pa, tapos po for other plans siguro, perhaps kung maglalabas siya ulit ng re-recordings, Uh, we will try our best to organize another listening party for that. Mm-hmm. And of course, by the end of the year, Swift Mas 2023. Yes. 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 Parang yeah. annual, ano na naman. Ano, tradition na talaga siya. Na na na. Yes. Ayun. Concert. Hindi, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Baka talaga nabigyan tayo ng date dito for Manila. Lahat ng natutuwan. Kasi medyo K-pop fan din po ako. So lahat ng fan base from Western K-pop, lahat ng ideas for fan projects, I-embrace ko lahat yung... We will try our best mag-organize talaga. Ayun. Ayun. So, so, the power of freedom. Yeah. Exciting. Yeah. So, you. that's the perfect way to end our episode. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so that's it guys for our latest episode of Stand By Me. If you have any topics or if you want to uh, propose a fandom that you'd like us to cover, um, just hit us up at hashtag Stand By Me on Raptor socials. I'm Marguerite De Leon. And I'm Isa Thanks for watching.